G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. It is that time of the year here in Australia where mangoes are in season, and I absolutely love mangoes. So today I'm going to make an incredibly simple and easy recipe that I know you're just going to love. So join me today as I make my version of a three ingredient mango cheesecake in a mug. Okay, so to start this off with, we're going to use some low-fat ricotta. Now, if you can't find ricotta where you're from, I'll check the link down below and I'll show you how to make your own. So what we're going to do now is, you can do this in a food processor or a mixer. So whichever way you do it, we want to mix it until it's all broken up and nice and smooth. Okay, now that it's nice and smooth, we're going to pour in our low-fat custard. And as always, the list of ingredients are down in the description. And we're just going to let that mix through for about a minute or so, just until it's well combined. And there we have it. Nice and smooth texture. Okay, so next I've got the pulp of two mangoes. Just going to place that right in there. And again, you don't have to do this in a mixer. You can also do it in a blender or a food processor. But what we want to do is we want to mix it until it comes up to a nice puree. And you can use canned mangoes if you like. But I highly recommend use fresh ones. Only use canned if you can't find fresh ones in your area or if they're out of season. And there we have it. And look at that. Yummy. Okay, so once that's pureed like that, we want to remove about, say, a quarter of it. Not too much, just enough that we're going to put on top of our cups. Now that we've removed a quarter of our puree, we're going to add our cheese mixture back into the bowl. And we're not going to mix it too much. We just want to fold it through. We want to be able to see the difference between the cheese mixture and the mango. We don't want it completely mixed. Okay, so I've got one of our cups here. And simply what I'm going to do is just spoon some of our mixture inside the cup. Until it's about, say, three quarters of the way full. And once we've got it up to the right level, we're just going to get some of our puree. And we're just going to dress up the top of it. Just with our mango puree. And there we have it, an incredibly simple and easy, yet this is going to be one tasty cheesecake in a mug. So all together, I'd say I probably spent no more than five minutes putting these together. And they are best served chilled, so once you make them, put them back in the fridge for a couple of hours until they're ready to be served. But that's enough of that, let's try one right now. Oh, I love mango. Oh my. Oh, that is just so creamy. So it's obviously not a firm cheesecake, and that's fine because I wasn't going for that. It's more of a creamy, delicious dessert. It is that type of recipe where you can just slowly eat it and really enjoy those cheese and mango flavors. And this is a dessert where I can truly say they taste simply delish. So give it a go. It's actually a very inexpensive dessert as well, as well as being very fast to make. And the best part is, it's also an incredibly low in fat and sugar recipe. So it's almost guilt free. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, a list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Home Handy Hints channel, where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And until next time, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.